Hello, Cancer viewers. Today I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, and what action they're going to be taking towards you over the next, uh, let's say, like a week or two. Okay, so for my Cancer viewers, okay, I guess we're going to go with those ones. This kind of all fell out. <laughs> Five of Swords, the High Priestess, maybe someone with a with a B or J initial too. King of Wands, so that's kind of that's a good match actually. It's not so bad. You got Justice coming in. Ooh, it's good reading. I feel like this is a karmic party partner. Um, I feel like you were waiting for them and like you knew that they were in this like abusive toxic relationship and. You have been waiting for them to get their shit together, and they finally are. They're finally, they're, like, comparing you. They've, like, they have, like, this, this old, like, an ex or, like, a karmic partner or somebody. And then they have you, the high priestess, and they're just kind of looking at this energy, and they're like, oh, wait, like, this is what's right. The king of wands with the high priestess, that's what's right. This, this isn't right. This is just someone who's bitter and catty and and jealous and insecure and unstable and possessive and just toxic all around and they're like let's leave that shit in the past and they're coming in so this could be male or female it's whatever you resonate with so for some of you you're the king of wands and your high priestess is coming in like a very deep intuitive sophisticated um you know, woman here who is just, she, she's very, she's in her power. And for others of you, if you're, if you're attracted to men, then this is, you know, your king of wands coming in, possibly an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And it's interesting how many water signs seem to be hooking up with fire signs right now. It's like the yin and the yang. It's like an interesting balance there that we're getting. Um, so this King of Wands, it's like someone who's passionate and loyal and and just grounded. I said someone who's very, I don't know if, I, maybe highly educated. I don't know. It's like, or it's a similar energy to highly educated. If it's not highly educated, it's like it's someone who's like, like just like experience. Like they're, they're very, they have a good head on their shoulders is what I feel. Um... And they are passionate. I sense a lot of loyalty too with this King of Wands energy, and and so yeah, he is. This person is realizing that this is the right match: the High Priestess and the King of Wands. These two energies, the um, it's like they're each other's rocks. It's like this loyalty right here. This loyal loyalty keeps pop, popping out. So, and again, the, the initial B or J might mean something to you. And this, yeah, this this loyalty, this stability here. It's like, see how strong they both are. Like, they're just, they're each other's, like, rocks right here. There's just, it's, it's a more, I mean, there's just this mutual energy exchange with this relationship. This, this high priestess is intuitive, and she's deep, and she's in her power. And she's not going to go through this person's phone and delete all his texts. She's not going to go through this king of wands phone's phone and, you know, tell him he can't have female friends or do anything crazy like that. That was with the karmic. And he's finally recognizing that. He's been blind and asleep to it for a long time, probably ignoring his intuition about you too and, and ignoring his psychic ability. And he's finally waking up and seeing what's right in front of his face. And you have the justice card. So you know what? You were patient and you earned this. You deserve this. You you did the work. You put the time and you stayed in your power and you showed him. You you gave him like astrally or telepathically or physically. You just showed him what a life would you be like. So you finally have justice. You finally have this this crazy ass over here being cut out of the picture. Um, and this is you right here, Eight of Cups. You're kind of like, look at, this is like with the moon phase. The moon might be bringing them in. Um, and if you're a witch too, this is also, you know, moon, moon with, with, with witches, you know, moon phases mean something totally different than what they mean with most people. So this could be talking about doing witchcraft um, that you've done or that you will do on a moon phase that has to do with this whole scenario manifesting for you. And look at her. She's like... Like, look at her. She's she's so cute and seductive, and she's just kind of like looking back at this King of Wands. Like, all right, you gonna come? You gonna catch up? You gonna come start a new life with me and leave this bullshit behind? Like, are we gonna do this? And she was just so 
she's so sweet and she's so like patient like she's not forcing him you know that's why you got the justice card here because it's like you didn't force it you just kind of stayed in this beautiful seductive cute type of energy and he realized it all on his own you know i mean i mean you helped with that like you manifested that i'm not saying you didn't but it's like like the choice between that energy between the high priestess and the five of swords energy that's like a clear choice and and yeah they've made that choice so all right so he's leaving he or she is leaving the karmic they're coming towards you or they just they just have or they're about to it looks like if this is your reading um, what does that look like? Let's see what what is that what's that gonna play out like? Like what is that what's that whole story gonna be about? What's gonna happen with that? So he or she is leaving the karmic. What's that gonna Oh my god, okay, we can't take all those cards. I'm sorry. Sorry, spirits, too many cards, calm down. <laughs> the magician. So yeah, I think some of you might be witches actually, because you're manifesting some shit here. Um and then the karmic is in the devil energy, you know, trying to be toxic, trying to seduce them and get them back, trying to, um, it's going to be addiction. I mean, sometimes it's addiction, but it, or a lot of times it's addiction, but I kind of feel more like it's like seduction. Like she's trying to look at her. She's trying to be all sexy and she's trying to, to manifest him back too. She's trying to, um, you know, seduce him or, or play play his or her buttons and, and strings and, and say all the right things and do all the right things and pretend like it could be different this time around and, and get this person back. But, you know, you're the magician. You're on top of it. You're manifesting. You manifested this person. You're manifesting what you want. So I almost feel like this could be witchcraft here, I kind of feel, for for a couple of you at least, where it's like you're, you feel the karmic's energy and you're like, no, bitch, not doing it. And you're, you're cutting them out. Um... And there's your, there's your king of wands again. Again, you manifested this. You used your, your magic to manifest this amazing person that's that's your equal. And the karmic is going bye-bye. She is. Here she is. Um, and so, yeah, you're just, you're in your power. You really are. You're really, you really did um, manifest this. I have a spider on my arm. I don't know if spiders mean anything to you guys, but I have a fucking spider or a fly on my arm. I don't fucking know. Anyway. Yeah, so with Magician, it might be telling you to stay on top of it, too. Like, if you've been doing the magic, it might be saying, like, stay on top of it, because this Karmic is, is sneaky. She's fucking tricky, and she might be into some dark shit, too. So it's kind of saying, like, make sure you stay on top of it. And you, again, that's very similar to the last card we saw in the, um, the other spread, the Nine of Cups, where it's like, look at her. She's so cute and seductive, and she's so, like, it's weird. It's like she's shy. In, a, in, in some way, I don't know if shy is the right word. It's like she's got like this this shy kind of cute girly energy to her, but she like she knows what she's doing. It's kind of like, you know, that book, Why Men Love Bitches. It almost reminds me of that where it's like it's in that book that says like, you know, the oh, like a woman will kind of pretend to be the, the dumb fox or whatever. But like she's two steps ahead of him, but she she pretends like she's not. Because that's kind of her seductive method is is where she she kind of pretends to be oblivious and she doesn't she doesn't yell at him she doesn't say like hey you're gonna treat me like this you're gonna do this and this and this no she just stays in her power and she just doesn't tolerate bullshit and that's you you know what I mean like this frog is looking at her and she's not she's not disgusted she's not doing anything about it she's just kind of like like okay come get me come turn into Prince Charming if you want me otherwise I'm not doing it. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, she's just, she's kind of, like, got this. I don't know if it's, like, a shyness. It's, like, a shyness, but it's, like, a seductive shyness. Does that make sense? It's kind of, like, she's just, like, not reserved, but it's, like, she's just kind of, like, flirty, but she does it in such a subtle, sexy way, and, and this person notices it. Um, you know, like, look at her. Look at her. She's just sitting there being all, with her bow in her hair. She's just being all, like, cute and sweet and seductive, and, and yeah, he's feeling it for sure. And again, so much better energy than the karmic. Like, he knows this is better than the karmic. The eight of, Ace of Swords. So you got a new start here. That's going to bring about clarity. Um, let's see. I feel like this could be closure, too. Like, he's he's going to need some... He or him or, him or her might need some, some closure with the karmic. 
Knight of Cups. Three of Cups. Okay, interesting. Let's see. Looking at these cards again, I almost want to say... Like I, I do feel like that is you, but I also kind of, I kind of feel like it's also saying, like looking at these together, I kind of feel like it's also saying it's her. It's like, okay, so the, for the first, you, you are all those things that I think I said, but this is also, there's a second, second meaning for this card in this thread. So like, look at her. She's trying to be all like seductive and shit. And he's, he's in this Knight of Cups energy where he's looking for it. He's looking to the girl that's fun and, and sweet and you know seductive and cute and down to earth and creative and just just fun to be around just different um she's just she's just sweet and she's fun and he likes that and he's like that's where his heart is you see like you see it's almost like like a heart chakra connection too where it's like they're like all that you see this little energy it's like going towards this it's going he's like him or her like they're opening like he or she is like opening um, their heart to, to this person, to this energy. And like, here's the karmic trying to be like seductive and like trying to, trying to be like you. She's trying to basically do what you're doing and she can't pull it off. She just looks like a bitch when she does it. When you're seductive, you look cute and fun and down to earth. When she's seductive, she just kind of looks like she just looks bitchy like she's she thinks she looks sexy she thinks she's such a badass but she looks just she just looks bitchy she is not so great and and so yeah his heart is with you um and just you know don't do the shit that she did basically don't do the the going through his phone the where are you going when are you going to be home when are you when is this 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 like like he needs a break from that energy he needs a break from being controlled so so really try to keep that in mind um him or her that they're just yeah they're not they're not doing it with that energy ever again oh okay all right um what else can we get here How much more there is to say? I'm trying to think. Alright, anything else that the viewers need to know about their relationships? Yeah, I feel witchcraft for like at least a couple people in this group. So what you're doing or what you will do is gonna work, I think. Um you're getting justice, you know, you're getting the justice that you want, so you're good. Okay. The lovers. Ooh, that's sexy. See that? See how he's looking at her? He's like... He wants to be in charge, I think. Like, in the bedroom, maybe? Or just in general? I kind of think, like, this person wants to be in charge. Because look at you. You're all, you're all sweet and innocent over here with your little... You got some flowers or whatever in your head. You're looking all sweet and innocent. But it's like you're... That's like your seductive tactics. It's like you, you play that up really well. And he really notices that. He or she really notices that. Um, and with... Yeah, with the lovers here, I just feel like... Like, with this, this toxic karmic is, like, so dominant that it's, like, he doesn't get the chance to, like, take charge in the ways that he wants to take charge. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't get the chance to, like, make decisions for himself or try to, like, put, like, try to say what he wants in the relationship or anything like that. And with you, it's, like, it's, like, this very sexual, seductive energy where I think he wants to take control in the bedroom a little bit more. Um, or when you guys do start having sex, I feel like he's going to want to unleash that side of himself because it's like he's been, it's been so long since he's been able to like, like, I don't want to say like dominant and submissive, but it's like the, the karmic is just so dominant. She's so up, like domineering and she's so, like she suppresses him so much and like numbs him to the point where he's just like, oh my God, whatever, I don't want to deal with it. And with you, it's like you're so fun and so sexy to him. That it's like he wants to like, like, 
I don't even know how to, do you, you get this energy, like, you see this, like, you see how he's looking at her, he's just, he's, he's finally feeling like he can take control in the right ways, I guess is what I should say. Death, you know, death to the karmic situation, it's, it's over with, um, it's finally ending. Knight of Swords, okay, it came out reverse, though. Actually, I do know what to make of that, okay. <laughs> dur, dur, dur. So it came right out with the death card. So the Nine of Swords upright, it's like negative beliefs that like, you know, bring about like a negative reality. It's like fear and worry. Like you see this, this energy is like just like exhausted and done and can't do it anymore. And they're just like, they're scared. Maybe they're being abused. They're just like, they're so, there's just so much negativity and worry. And they're just, they feel like their life is a nightmare. They feel like they can't be themselves they feel like it's just like it never ends. Like it's like the nine to five grind or like the abusive partner that just nags and nags and nags. And, you know, with it being reversed, it's like that situation is done. That situation is like it's dead. It's over with. Um, you know, this person is like they're done with the karmic or they're just about done with the karmic. They've, maybe they just went back to him, but they're like, nope, can't do it anymore. And with the eight of wands here, they're looking for they, they have faith in the future. They have this passionate new start with you. Um, and so they, yeah, they're really excited about it. So I think it's, it's a good reading for you guys for sure. Um, yeah, that was a quick one, but I mean, we think we got, got to the gist of it really. <laughs> so let's see. So please like, share, subscribe if this resonated. Thank you guys.